Uh, Mark, it's been a difficult 72 hours for this country. Um, was that a factor tonight? Um, yeah, I won't lie. Um, I'm not going to really talk too much about the game, I'll be honest with you, um, because I thought that was, it was the second most important thing. The most important thing is, is what happened a couple of days ago. It's shaken everybody up at the club. It's certainly shaken me up and my players. Um, um, it's sad, huh? It's sad. It's not what this country's about. Great country, this place. It's opened its arms and doors to so many different people, so many different races and religions, and uh, you've got a fantastic Prime Minister, by the way, as well. It's just, it's just sad. This country doesn't deserve it. This world doesn't deserve something like that as well. And, um, yeah, it's tough to talk about. It's quite emotional. I've grown, like I said, very attached to, to not just Wellington, but New Zealand. And, um, you know, it's made worldwide headlines and a lot of people were, were asking questions. And I don't know, I've, I've got a lot of Muslim friends. They just, it's just it's so sad. It really is. It's hard to put into words. Um, like I said, I think the, tonight's performance is dedicated to, to the victims and their families. You know, bless their souls. It's just not what life should be about. So, all we could do is play a small part. Um, and like I said, it's just a game of football. You win, you lose. It's, it's irrelevant when, when things like this happen. But like I said, uh, it was important that you know we, we played our part and, and, and that was to play for someone else and that, and that was for the victims and their families um, and the country because the whole country is mourning. You know, so, yeah, I'm not sure what you'll get out of me for the rest of the... Um, the interview, football-wise, because I'm, I'm not too bothered about it, I'll be honest with you. you could, whether it be the red card, whether it be the goals that we scored and things like that. Um, it, it was purely about this football club as a whole trying to play a small part. What was the reaction of the players, mate? Did they find out how to get through this game? Yeah, it was, you know, we had training yesterday and um, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of sad faces. You know, particularly the Kiwi boys, but it's, it's even the other players that have been here, whether they're Australian or whether they're Spanish or, or Polish or Irish, you know, we, we spoke about it and, and we said that we need to be, you know, um, we're going to try and, and, and do this, you know, do it for somebody else now. It had nothing to do with our position on the table, it had nothing to do with any of that. It was just about us trying to, to play our part, like I said, for something a lot bigger. Um, and, 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 and like I said, I thought we did that tonight, which was, which was good. But you never, you never really know how each individual is gonna, going to react to something like that. Um, I'm really proud of them. You know? uh, before the game, it was quite emotional, huh? really emotional. And, and um, credit to Western Sydney Wanderers who, who, who were part of it and the referees as well. You know, we, we, we all got together because I think that's where society needs to get together in times like this, you know. Um, absolute disaster. Like I said, this country doesn't deserve the events that took place. It, it's given a new lease of life to, to so many, you know, the, the Syrians who, who were able to flee, you know, their own country and, and all the demons that that country possessed. There were so many of them that, that fled to different parts of the world. They made the, their way all the way over here to New Zealand. What a feat that was, right? And yet something like that happens to them. It's just, it's just so sad. It's, it's terrible. No one deserves that. You know, we're so fortunate to be living in a country like this, so fortunate. You know, you, you think about those people who, who come to places like New Zealand and Australia, you know, they've, they've got the ability to, to walk the streets and, and and say what they want to say, you know, they've got freedom. And yet it gets taken away by a lunatic. It's just, it's wrong. It's wrong.